Hi folks, that's from High on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I just want to give you a quick update. Android 5.1.1 uh, was just pushed out to T-Mobile Galaxy S6 Edge. Uh, usually it's the uh, international models, but I don't know why this time the T-Mobile version got it first. Uh, anyway, if you do have stock firmware, uh, you can do an OTA, but I actually don't recommend it. Um, I'm getting like much lower scores with N22. I'm only getting like 50,000. Um, so I, I'm not sure what's wrong with that. Uh, but uh, the 5.1 itself is actually pretty fast. I'll have to do some more testing. Um, but if you want to get this or just try it out, uh, what you can do is make a backup in Twerp and go ahead and install it. Uh, and if you don't like it, you can go ahead and revert back to a 5. Dot, I think it would have to, yeah. Um, so definitely check it out. But there's actually not too many changes with uh, 5.1.1. It is, feels a little bit faster, um, but I don't know why the benchmarks are a lot slower. Uh, also, there is no root right now because I'm not sure why, but the super user method does not work with 5.1.1. Um, something is funky. Also, for those of you on stock, if you do update, it's going to lock your bootloader. Um, so I definitely don't like, recommend it. I guess there is a way to unlock the bootloader. It's sort of like a temporary lock bootloader, but you know, it's better to just have a totally unlocked bootloader. So if you already root it, um, definitely check out the stock ROM. Actually, let me go ahead and show you how to install it. Uh, installation is pretty easy to do. Make sure you have Twerp Recovery installed uh, for your S6 Edge. And make sure you have the latest version. Grab the version on my site. Go ahead and install that using uh, Flashify or you can go ahead and use Odin. Go ahead and hold down volume up, center home power. All right, let go of the power button and this should enter you into Twerp Recovery. All right, um, before we do anything, I told you make a backup ROM. I already did, I made a bunch of them. Make sure boot system and data is checked on. All right, make sure you have enough space and go ahead and swipe to backup. And later on, um, if you don't like the new 5.1.1, uh, like me, then you can go to restore and restore your ROM back. My stock, I have a stock rooted 5.1.2 there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, and for installation, you don't need to do any wipe. I was able to install it just fine. Uh, just go ahead and go to install and choose the, uh, the file, which is blck underscore tw blah blah dot zip. Um, select that, swipe, uh, that will install it and reboot and you should be on 5.1.1. Again, you will lose root. Even if you flash, uh, if you try to flash super SU, you will end up in a brick, uh, boot loop. So don't try that. If you're going to try that to make a backup round first. So I've been backing up, restoring like a bunch of times, like all day today. Uh, but I just want to show you that real quick. This is like not really official. I guess it's official because it's being rolled out to T-Mobile customers. Um, but I feel like there's some problems because I'm getting some bad scores with N22. Although I don't actually see it or they may have changed some things around, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Uh, but for right now, um, the recommended method is to install the stock version, uh, stock ROM, which I showed you here. So that's how you install it. Just give you a quick um, view of this, but I have more stuff coming. Um, I've just got the LG G4 today. I have the LG Urba Urbane, Urbane phone coming, or sorry, the phone, sorry, it's getting late here. I also got the, this fake Galaxy S6 I'm going to cover soon. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. I have um, Next up is uh, the T-Mobile uh, Note 4. Ah, that's not it. All right, I'm all over the place. I'll see you guys soon. As always, I'll on Android.